Mastering English Phrases, Chapter and Verse Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase, chapter and verse. This phrase has a rich history and is used in various contexts. By the end of this video, you'll understand not just its meaning but also how to use it effectively in your conversations and writings. Let's get started. The phrase, chapter and verse, originally comes from the Bible, where chapters and verses are used to refer to specific parts of the text. When someone provides, chapter and verse, they are giving precise details or evidence about something. It's like saying, I can pinpoint exactly where this is coming from. In modern usage, chapter and verse, goes beyond religious texts. It means providing exact information or details about something. When you ask for, chapter and verse, you're asking for the specific source or detailed evidence of a claim, fact, or rule. It's often used in discussions, debates, or when someone is trying to prove a point with accuracy and precision. To help you understand how, chapter and verse, is used in everyday language, Let's look at a few examples. In a business meeting, someone might say, Can you give me chapter and verse on how these numbers were calculated? Here, it means asking for detailed explanations or evidence. During a discussion, if someone claims a fact, you might respond, Please, give me chapter and verse, asking for the exact source of their information. 1. Be specific. Use this phrase when you're seeking or providing very detailed and specific information. 2. Know your audience. This phrase is best used in formal or semi-formal contexts. It may not be understood or appreciated in very casual conversations. 3. Practice with examples. Try creating your own sentences or scenarios where you could ask for or provide chapter and verse to become comfortable with its usage. And that's chapter and verse for you. Now you know what it means, how it's used, and how you can incorporate it into your English language skills. Remember, learning phrases like these will not only improve your fluency but also enrich your understanding of the language's cultural nuances. We hope this video has been helpful, and we look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Happy learning, and don't forget to practice what you've learned today.